What's up, y'all? It's your girl Nikki from TSV TV coming back to you with a mother, another one. Let's go. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is going to be the April and May haul. Like I've been hyping it up. I've been telling y'all. I've been like really collecting a lot um, for these past two months. More so in April than in May, but still, like we got some heat on this rack. So let's get into it. But first, before we even get into it, let's see what we got on body. Today we have the 1996 single stitch champion tag, um, 1996 Atlanta Olympics. You know, some slight, some slight, but check me out, y'all. Y'all see me, y'all see me. My gang up in this thing. Hey, gay gang. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into this haul. All right, so as y'all know, Sometimes I'm going to have some stories with these shirts, but for the most part, it's just straight up like I bought them on IG from either stories or um, from people's lives. All right. So this first one is a Rangers hockey jersey. You actually saw this and I'll put it up there. This came from um, Collected ATL when I was in ATL a couple weeks ago. And um, yeah, so I picked this up. Like I said, in that video, you know, it's just something that I'm really gravitating towards, like, you know, like hockey jerseys and stuff. I like the fit of them, I like how they're flowing, but they offer, like, you know, the breathability of a jersey because they have holes in it. Like, um, I'm really liking the colors because you can just do so much with it, put some shorts on because, you know, it's a uh, hoochie, what they say, hoochie daddy, short season. Talking about four inch seams, five inch seams. Pair with these and some, some J's and you good. Um, but yeah, so I really like the colors on this, the red, the white, and the blue. Um, love how flow it is. And I think I paid $80 for it, but yeah. So this wasn't too bad. I paid more for jerseys. It is on the Cooper tag right there. Cooper tag. And all in all, I just really like it because of the colors and stuff like that. And just because it's, you know, perfect for the summer. All right, so this next one that we have is another hockey jersey. I'm not too sure what this one is. If I can figure out what it is before I post this video, I'll put it down here so you guys can know. But I absolutely love this one, y'all. I'm really loving the colors, just like this blue against like this burgundy-ish dark red with the black and white to separate the two. Um, I really love this big, big print and there's like the sleeve hits and stuff like that. That's the front. This is the back. Um, another emblem, I guess that's the, the brand of the, the jersey. And another one here, it is on a coho tag. And I paid $60 for this one. Actually, it's on the Canadian tag, look like. But yeah, so I got this one from um, a local shop here where I told you I got those dunks from. That's another video, I'll put it right there. Y'all just gotta catch up. If you behind, you gotta catch up. But if you're not, then you're right here with us today and you ready for this one. Let's go. All right, so y'all, the next one that we have, y'all know I gotta keep my Scooby-Doo collection growing. Like, we're gonna have to do an updated video on that because I definitely got some good pieces that I've been showing um, in most of my, in my last two hauls, including this one. So, this one's no different. It's a cool little boxy um, Scooby-Doo shirt that just says Booyah. What I like about it is like, you see how it's like reflective like that. Um, and y'all hear that? Yeah. That's real nice. It's like almost like it's painted on and then it goes all the way down to the seam. So that's really cool. Almost like an AOP without it being an AOP. No tag, but hey, it doesn't even matter. No date or anything like that, but it's just really cool. And I like like the ghost. I think it actually glows in the dark. I think the, the outline of the ghost and um, I think all of it like glows in the dark. The outline of Scooby, the ghost and the Booyah glows in the dark. Nothing on the back, but I saw this and I was like, oh, for, I think for like $35, I was like, I gotta have it. Like, you can't go wrong with that, right? So yeah. All right, y'all. So the next one is another Scooby piece. This one is single stitch all the way around. No date on it, but hey, single stitch. You can't go wrong with that. Um, dead stock on the Warner Brothers tag with the Cartoon Network underneath. Tag XL with the tag, you know? I think this is like, you know how, JC Penney's, if you recognize the tag from like a couple years ago or something, um, JC Penney's used to have that tag. So could be where somebody got it from, but I got it from um, 
someone on Instagram, single since all the way around, like I said. So when he was like, oh, $30, you can't go wrong with $30. So I had to hop on that immediately, y'all. Get that immediately. Um, I really like the colors of it, just like the Big Face Scooby. Um, I think when I wear something, I probably pair it with like something right here, just because it is, you know, fairly plain, but you can really do a lot with it. So I had to have this one too. All right, y'all, so for this next one, I mean, y'all already know I love B2K, so I had to get this one when I saw it. It was on this guy's story sale for $20. And if you know anything about this, this is from the millennial tour that they just had, like pre-Rona. Um, I didn't even know that they were selling shirts, but like when I looked it up, I saw that that's where it came from. And they were selling it for 60, but he had it for 20, so B2K. Omarion, Lil Fizz, j Book, Razzby. Had to get this one. Favorite boy band, so why not? All right, so this next one is a boot. It is on the Comfort Colors. That's pretty much how you know it's a boot. But I got this one because, I mean, I don't want to really pay all the money that everybody's asking for different Sade pieces. And this one's really cool. I really like just like the colors in it. And, um, you know, like how they lay her pictures and stuff like this. And honestly, this is, give it 10 years and this is going to be a wrap to you, like boot or not. Because as you know, like a lot of those parking lot boots that people paying for, like the Tupacs and a couple of the other ones that I have in some of my other videos, they made the same way you know it's like it's a parking lot booth that somebody screen printed and they sold it at the concert so I give it about 10 15 years this would be something too but i really like it just because i like the fade on it already like the grayish color that they went with for the background on this shirt so it's a real good one so it's, it's a good summer shirt i like it all right so this next one quick story behind it um it is a what is this? This is a Warner Brothers wrestling shirt, but before we even get to the shirt, so I'm in this this IG like group chat, group DM, um, where it's like they call it the Big Boys Club, but even I think I'm the only woman in there. But um they just like post in anybody posts lives in there. Um, more specifically like Final Flame, which is somebody on Instagram who hosts their own like the People's Fleet. So go check them out. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Um, so they created this group chat to just like post in there anytime somebody is on live that has like a bigger XL or like a true XL or two XL. And so anytime they post in there, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, let me go check it out because it's like the size that I prefer. So I can have like a, you know, a baggier fit of my shirts instead of it being like a true to size fit. So they posted this, I think in the first, the first time they had the group chat and the guy, it was selling for like, well, it was on auction for like $5, $10, but then. I ended up getting it for 25 ships, so can't go wrong with that, right? But it is a Warner Bros. Wrestling. I really like it just because of, you know, like Looney Tune characters and stuff like that and the colors on it and the vibrancy of it up against this black. It is on this Warner Brothers studio store tag. Um, under the tag is not there, but that's cool. And I really like the back here too because it really makes it look like, you know, a wrestling shirt like if you look at some of the undertakers and stuff like that where he's talking about like the different events so this one's really cool um so yeah i like the colors on it and i already said that but it's a really good one and it's just a cool you know play on um warner brothers well the wrestling wrestling not warner brothers but yeah all right, y'all, so this next one is pretty much the same thing. Like, the shirts I'm looking for now are, like, more summer-oriented. So I'm looking for, like, the light, the airy, the colorful-type shirts um, so that I can, you know, put, put on some shorts and um, some jeans or something like that and just be chilling, you know, not having to wear, like, the most expensive of the expensive, just, like, something chill that, like, looks good, you know? Um, So we got this Looney Tunes Jeff Gordon Ra NASCAR um, shirt. Super cool. I mean, like, look at all these colors. It says hopping into the driver's seat with Bugs Bunny right here. Big Jeff Gordon with the multicolor. All the colors are the 24, all of that. It's on that Chase tag, which is the same tag that my um, Scooby-Doo NASCAR grill is on. So it's a pretty good one. Um, that's the front. This is the back hit. Same, like, all the crazy details throughout it. Um, racing to the hairline. Like, that's, you know, play on words because Bugs Bunny. Um, this is from 2001, right there. 
And I think I paid fifty dollars for this. Fifty shit. So you can't go wrong with that. It's another one of those like a it's a bigger XL for that bigger fit that I like. So I definitely have some plans for this one. I think I'm gonna wear it when I'm going. I'm going somewhere, so stay tuned for that because that video gonna be lit too. Um, but yeah, so that's the Jeff Gordon Looney Tunes crossover Bugs Bunny like highlight. All right. Y'all, now I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because I was just talking about how I was buying shirts that, you know, like cheaper in cost and stuff like that. And, um, you know, for summer and stuff. But <sighs> I got this in like April, I wanna say. Yeah, because virtual was in March. Yeah, I got this in April. So it's been a minute. It's been sitting, y'all, patiently sitting. But I got two bundles here. Two bundles. But the first one. It's three shirts one shirt i already had so i'm gonna probably i am trying to sell this it's on my story sale right now not even on the story sale right now but it's on my page my ig right now i'll put that down here for you to go look for sale in the bio but um because i already had it you know i had it i sold it to the guy that he sold it back to me in the bundle which was cool it's, it's fine i really like the shirt anyway so but Story behind it is it was on Pop Shop, right? So on Pop Shop, Chris, 1980 something code, Mondays, he does like Pop Shop lives and, and that's what he does in addition to the virtual fleet on the weekends. Um, this particular live, they were doing blind bids and it was with Wiz. If you don't know Wiz, go look him up on IG, the vintage Wiz. Like me and Wiz, we we, we cool like that. He sent me something every time he gave me something. And I'm like, yeah, I need that. Um, so I already knew when he was on there, like, shit was about to get crazy. It was about to go crazy. It was about to. I'm putting in that Kevin Hart clip. It's about to go down. Just like that. So, I went ahead through with my little bead. I ain't telling y'all how much I spent. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. But, um, yeah, I threw up my bead, and I got three crazy shirts. Like I said, this one I already had. It is the Summer Jam 2009 shirt um, with... I mean, everybody, T-Pain, Jada Kiss, um, what is it, Mary J. Um, really love the colors on it, the red and all that, like the red and the baby blues. Makes it really, really cool. Um, you got Jim Jones. You got some of everybody. You got Jeezy. You got Julius Santana, Pleasure P, Ser Serrani, Serrani. I don't know who that is, but whatever. But it is on the Hanes because it's from 2009. Um, and yeah, this was a good one. Like, I really enjoyed it when I sold it to Wiz. I sold it to him at the virtual that I went to in November. Uh, we actually traded for a Power Rangers that I have. Uh, traded this and one more, the 2010 Summer Jam for um, the Power Rangers that I still have because that joint is hard. Um, but yeah, so I got this in the blind bid. So that's one. I got this in the blind bid. That's two. This is Summer Jam 2002. I really love the yellow on this, the colors, like you got Nas up here with the New York hat, you got Ja Rule, you got Ashanti, you got Alicia Keys, Summer Jam 2002, y'all, this is crazy, like look at this, look at the, the blocking on this, like instead of it being like all the faces right here that like put it around with like the artist highlighted right here, I was like, ah, oh, I had to have this, and then you know like look at it, like look at the detail on this, just take a moment to take that in, like it's the artist, but it's, you know, the way that their logo is. And that's really cool versus it being just like the standard artist print. Just like what name? Like the 09 shirt. Um, so when he brought that out, I was like, yeah, I need that too. Um, but like I said, it's a part of a three-piece bundle, y'all. Three-piece. This is just the second piece. That first piece is already crazy. The second piece is crazier. Wait for this last piece. The Summer Jam 2000. Summer Jam 2. Look at this. Look, look, just look at this. Summer Jam 2000. You got Eminem. You got Snoop. You got Dr. Dre. But, like, I can end the video. Look at this. Second off. <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all, this one's crazy. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, I need that. I need that. Because, you know, um, on a blind bid, you throw up your bid. You tell them what you're looking for. Let me tell you how it works if you don't know. You throw up your, your bid. You put your number down, what you're comfortable with paying. You tell them what you're looking for, how many pieces you want, stuff like that. <coughs> your sizes and all of that. And then they try to curate something for you. I just said, 
my number and I said Excel and I said music. They already know I like black music. Yeah, you know, like I ain't saying nothing against nobody else's music, but that's what I listen to. So it's just like I wanted some hip hop or like some R&B or, you know, the combination of the two. And all three of these shirts hit on that exactly. So <sighs> summer jam, y'all. <laughs> just like take that detail in. That thing is crazy. That thing is fine. Um, of course it has a back end. Of course, like why wouldn't it? Aaliyah, Juvie, like, come on. Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Aaliyah, Jay-Z, Snoop, Cisco, sorry. Um, Swiss Beats, Sean Paul, Juvenile, Lil Wayne, BG. Like, this thing is crazy absolutely freaking crazy there's no other way this right here was damn near worth the beard i threw up and he threw them all i think he actually y'all i think he actually even said like it was for each shirt like that's you could pick one he threw all three in for me for me so if y'all ain't shopping well with this you sleeping and you snoring but you can't get the treatment i get it anyway y'all say it so that was the three piece here this is the the best one of the three um, if you want that first one, all in me on RG, I got you. I got you. I'm hooked up with that. All right, y'all. So y'all saw that crazy three-piece summer jam bundle. That same night, y'all, I was going crazy. It's okay. It's okay. We bounce back, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, so like I told y'all, the blind bit how it works. So Wiz threw up that one. I accepted that. Chris threw up this four piece right here, y'all. Let me go ahead and show y'all. Obviously, I accepted it because it's here. You got the 2003 Chicken and Beer Luda Chris album promo. Look at the fro. Look at the detail on the shirt, the chain. Like, you know this from early 2000s. Just look at that chain. Um, this one is absolutely crazy. I have one Luda Chris, but it's the word of mouth. Y'all have seen that. I posted on Instagram, like all of that. This one, I have not seen. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, come on, man. I got to have it. Come on, bring that, bring that to me, bring it to me. Um, so yeah, got this one. This is a good one. No back hit on it. That's cool. That's cool. That's the first one. The second one. Oh my God, y'all. Let's just take a moment. I'm going to just, just take a moment. Casey and JoJo with the crazy fade. The crazy ass fade. Like y'all, I'm wearing this shirt immediately immediately prepare for the fit prepare for it prepare for the mother fit all right it's on the winter land winter land i can't even talk here i'm so excited winter winter land tag tag xl that's the front head casey and jojo sitting right there like it's so faded you can't even tell that they have on the purple pants for real for like i had to bring it so close for you to see then the back here casey and jojo the Love Always Tour from 98. Y'all, this is crazy. Double stitch all the way around. But the fade and the tag, y'all. And then just the print on it. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. <sighs> Again, you know how you just see something, you're like, I need that. I got to have that. And I say that in every in video, right? Y'all, it's just certain pieces that I got to have. This one of them. So we got the Casey and JoJo in the four-piece bundle. This is number two. That was the Casey and JoJo, the ludicrous. Now you got the Jay-Z and Friends. You got Jay-Z, Big Jay-Z, Big Jay-Z with the uh, New York Yankees fitted. You got Mary J, DMX, Method Man and Red Man. Look at the details. On the Navy. On the Navy, what is this? Triple A, tag 2XL. Check out that back. That back right there is fresh. Got everybody's name. All of that. Like this one. This and the Casey was a long worth a bit. Especially like high time. You know, like vintage was going crazy, crazy. You know, everybody talking about, oh, now it's going down. That's a whole nother story. Y'all stay tuned for that video too. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, this in hype stimmy time, folks was dropping bags. Like, so this alone with the Casey is already worth my bid. But we got one more. 
the very last piece of this four piece crazy ass bundle. We have the 1996 NBA Finals Chicago Bulls versus the um, Seattle Supersonics. Sean Kemp, Dennis Rodman, crazy. Tell me below in the comments who won this. If you know, tell me down in the below. This one's crazy, y'all. East versus West. The details on this, let me, let me just go in, so. But you see the details. It's like a character. Character picture. Character picture. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, single sits all the way around. Pro, pro player tag. Like, come on now. Come on now. Look at that. Single stitch. All the way around. All the way around, y'all. This was a part of that bundle as well. Crispy. Like, it's crispy. Like, let me know where you see something. Crispy for it to be 1996. Absolutely crispy. Absolutely crispy. This is another one of those, like, summer shirts, you know? You put something on. You let the shirt do the talking. You put your shoes on. You, you, you ready. You ready for the streets. So, yeah. That's the four-piece bundle on that one. All right, y'all. So, I picked up some other crazy pieces from Wiz and some overseas sellers. Um, I'll try to put their names in down below if I can remember. Um, but, yeah. Start with this one, y'all. So, this is a single stitch all the way around on the All Sport tag. What was it? Tag XL. It's the Mary. What? Mariah Carey. This is the... Merry Christmas, Mariah Carey, All I Want For You, like, notorious Christmas album. Like, come on now. How do I, how would I not? This is not perfect for right now. Which is why it was so cheap. Y'all even got the date down there. 1994, Mariah Carey. Let me let you see that. Right there. 1994, Mariah Carey, single stitch all the way around on all sport tag. Christmas, come Christmas. Y'all gonna be wanting it. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> no, but um, he had a crazy price on this. Because I remember when Christmas came around, like he posted it on Christmas, I think, for last year. And I asked him how much he wanted for it. <sighs> I wasn't paying that. When he when he ran it on his story sale, um, it was like more than half off of what he was asking. Because, it's you know, it's not the season for it. It's not hype right now. Nobody wants it right now. So I had to pick that up. Got this one. And then this nest quick. Again, you know, I said I was looking for like summer shirts, you know, like I have a lot of black shirts, y'all. One of these days I'm gonna have to just do a complete closet, like show you my closet, my shoes. Um, that video's coming, but just like let y'all see how many shirts I actually have, which is why I need to sell some. Like it's so hard to let them go, but I need to sell some. I need to. <laughs> um, especially because of like I'm about to move, y'all. Imagine, like, I'm going to fill up a whole suitcase just of shirts, just of vintage tees, like, a whole suitcase, and not no little suitcase, I'm talking about, like, one of them big, big, big suitcases, you know, the biggest one. It's a shame, but it's a price, it's a price to be, you know, it's a price, it's a price to be like this, anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked up this next, next quick, I really liked it just because of, like, the frayed collar, um, I really like that the added detail. It is on the red bar amble tag XL. The next quick with the the bunny. It's a racing shirt, like a I won't say it's a racing parody, but it's a racing shirt with the next quick. So that's really cool. Um, that's the front hit. Of course, it has a back hit. No date or anything like that. It is double stitch around. I really like it. Just you know, cool colors for you to um, you know to bounce off of. I can tell you right now, if somebody had this and they had the lightning for us, of course they put it on with it. I don't have a lightning for us, but what y'all think? Should I get the lightning for us just for the shirt to make that fit come together? <sighs> oh no, I might have to think about that. Um, but if not, I mean, I have some other stuff I can easily pair this with. Um, I do actually the um, what is it? What is it? Royal Toe Ones. Yeah, I got the lows, the mids, and the highs. We can, we can make some shape with that. That made me think about that. All right, cool. Summer fit, stay, just like I said with the Casey and JoJo, y'all. Expect a fit with this. Expect a fit. It's about to be a tough fit. I already got it in my head. So, yeah, I picked this one up, too. Y'all think this was, like, $30? Like, 
I just really like the colors on it. I like the vibrancy of it, and that's quick. Like, we didn't, we didn't drink that when they were growing up. So, yeah. All right, y'all. So, for these next two pieces, um, one of them needs a little work, but more than a half off from what other people were asking. So, when he brought it out, I was like, oh, yeah, I need that. It is the Power 99 um, Tour. <coughs> it has DMX. It has the date. So it was 1998 in Philly. When I saw this, I was like, oh shit. Like the front is, is, is nice. Let me just show you. The front is definitely nice, right? And it is on the Delta tag, tag XL. Um, it does have a couple little flaws and stuff right there, but I can easily oxidate that out. So I'm not worried about that. Just take some time. Look at this. Look at the detail, y'all. DMX all throughout. Like that's just fresh, right? You see that? <laughs> The back hit. Like, let me just be quiet. Let me let y'all see the back hit. DMX, Missy Elliott, Maya, Monica, baby Monica. Like, ba this is like the boy is mine. Like, when she had on them white shoes singing it. What song is it? What video is it? Y'all, what video is that when she had them little white, them little white baby heels on? <laughs> I'm gonna have to put it, in. I'm gonna have to put it down there so, so we can talk about that. But yeah. Look at this. Look at this detail. Missy, Jay-Z, Aaron Hall, Next. Like, come on. Look at the people on this. Like, come on. Again with the 1998 date in Philly. Y'all, I had to have this. And I would tell y'all how much I paid. I'm going to tell you right now. I paid 500 for it. I'm going to tell you why. Because if you go right now, Actually, I didn't even pay that. I paid four fifty. I paid four fifty because it was from overseas, and when he um, he was generous because when he like sent me pictures of the shirt, you know, it has like these flaws and stuff. And I was just telling him, I was like, hey, look, you know, I I pretty much like my stuff flawless. Like it has some flaws right there and stuff like that, but it can easily get out with Oxy. Like I already tried. Um, I tested the area and it came out immediately. Like I haven't even washed these shirts. None of these shirts have even been washed. I just hung them up kept them all, made them, you know, sit there just for this video right now. I paid $4.50, three-day shipping, FedEx, overseas, right? Cool. Right now, if you go to Chris, let me just, y'all don't believe me, hold on. <clears throat> right and now, we're going to go to Chris's live. What's up, y'all? Thank you. Let's not. We ain't doing that. Let me show you right now how much he got his for. If it even says, has it still up here. Y'all, same shirt. Same shirt. You see that? Same shirt. Same shirt. Let me just let you see. Same shirt. You see that? 13. 1.3K. 450. Okay, yeah, he's long sleeve. But that's cool. That's cool. My short sleeve. If I wanted some long sleeve, if it's cold, ooh, cold, whatever, I can easily throw some over it. I can, I can put a, a jacket on. I can put a shirt over it. Like, 450 versus 1300 Of course I'm going to hop on this one. Of course. And I don't even care about the little stains. Like, I can easily oxidate it. I can do whatever I need to do. Like I said, I can wash it. I haven't even washed it. And I'm going to be good. So... That's another one. That's, that's, that's a fit right there, y'all. That's a fit. Let's see. Hold on. That's a fit. All right. With this, with that, y'all y'all ain't hearing me. Y'all, dead stock, what's this? Dead stock, because it be sitting over there. Over there on my display. Y'all, y'all hear my dog? This man sitting up here dreaming. Dead stop. What's this? 2019. Yeah, this 2019, y'all. Yeah. I think this 2019 or 2020. 2019. Dead stop. This is years dead stock, y'all. I need to wear it. I need to wear it. I really do. But look, come on now. That goes. Easy. Light work. Slight work. It's like that. So I got this one for 50. When I could have got um 
Chris is for 13, why would not? No brainer. All right, y'all. And for the last piece, the last one, y'all, this one's a little long, but like I said, it's a whole. Like, y'all gotta sit down, get your popcorn, and be ready to chill with me, talk with me, talk about the pieces. Um, This last one is NSYNC. And, I mean, it's a boy band. I grew up listening to NSYNC. But this is not even for me, it's for a friend, so... But no, it's really cool. I really like the colors on it. I originally started bidding for me, but then I like sent it to my friend. She was like, oh my God, I need it. So I was like, okay, cool. I mean, I think it was like $40, y'all. $40 from overseas. So, and I bought it, bought this from someone else. Bought the Power Jam shirt that I just showed. They shipped them together. Three-day shipping um, from the Philippines. So it has NSYNC on the front and it says bye, bye, bye on the back. Um, no strings attached. It's just a parking lot boot, you know? Super cool, um, faded out tag. What is this? Fruit of the Loom tag, it looks like. Y'all tell me what y'all see. Faded out tag, but really cool. Just like, you know, it's a boy band. You gotta have some, you know, you gotta have some of those, but really cheap. Why not? All right, y'all, so that will do it. The rack has been cleared. So, in the comments right now, y'all tell me which one was your favorite. And if you made it this far, put a a bird emoji. If you made it this far, I'll put a bird emoji down in the comments. And while you're at it, go ahead and let me know which piece was your favorite. Which one would you come after if I said I was selling it? Speaking of selling, y'all, if you go right now to my IG, I'll put it down here. Nikki P underscore and vintage pickups. Um, Nikki P underscore. <laughs> Und Nikki P underscore vintage underscore pickups, y'all. I've been talking so long. Um, but yeah, so if you go to my IG right now and you go to my bio, I have a for sale section and the little bubbles. Click that for my story sale from um, Tuesday the 17th. Um, go see if there's something you want. Uh, I decided to go with, so from the last video, y'all, real quick, I decided to go with IG just for the initial story sale, but I am probably going to go, end up going with whatnot so that I can start selling some of my stuff regularly. Because like I said, y'all, I have, <sighs> tell me in the comments how many shirts I showed today. That's just one month, not even a full month, like from April 20th to like, maybe April 15th to like March 1st, like not even a full month, y'all, so. If that's how many shirts I got in that time, just imagine how many shirts I have overall. So yeah, so tell me which one was your favorite. Go to my IG, check out my story sale from this past Tuesday. And um, I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. But y'all, I'm really, I really am thinking about because um, I'm a season ticket holder for the Mystics here in like the DMs, the DMV area, and so I'm regularly going to the game. So I'm thinking about Wednesdays, like turning it into like a a fit for like. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, do like a fit check. I also show like some highlights and stuff from the game. So let me know in the comments if y'all want to see that. I have some videos already prepped. Um, if you go to my IG, you can see a reel from the first game I went to from the season opener. Um, so yeah, let me know, you know. I'm here for y'all, but I'm trying to show y'all what I like, what I'm into, what I'm doing with my life. Um, but yeah, so like I said, y'all, we got some crazy stuff coming. I'm still trying to get my sneaker haul together, like just to show you all the shoes I have literally shoes like shoes over here that i haven't even worn and it's a pair down here too like i showed y'all these like i haven't even worn shoes <sighs> anyway so i'm gonna have to show y'all what all uh, sneakers i have and so we might try to do that this saturday i'll let y'all know what we what we doing with that um but yeah so i think that's it y'all so I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.